In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to plug away. When you plug away at something, it means you work at it slowly and methodically until it's done. It doesn't necessarily mean it's something exciting either. Uh, sometimes you plug away at things that you don't actually want to do because you just want to get them done. A great example would be this. Sometimes I give my students a test and then I have 25 tests to grade and I don't really enjoy grading tests, but if I plug away, if I work at it slowly and methodically, eventually I will be done. I don't have to work at it quickly. I just have to plug away so that I can finish the task that I don't find that enjoyable. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is to pull the plug. When you pull the plug on something, it stops working because it doesn't have electricity. But we use this to talk about other things as well. If I'm working on a project at school and it's not going well, me and the other teachers, we might decide to pull the plug. Or should I say the other teachers and I might decide to pull the plug. Sorry to use informal English there. When you pull the plug on something, it means you stop working on it. Um, I'm really enjoying making lessons on this channel and on my other channel, so I'm not going to pull the plug on either channel anytime soon. As I've said before, at least three or four more years, maybe longer. So to review, to plug away means to work at something so that you get it done, sometimes slowly and methodically uh, and without taking breaks. And to pull the plug on something means to quit doing it. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. I have the comment right here. I'm kind of laughing because I've, uh, I've been talking for two minutes hoping a truck would go by related to this comment. I think there's one coming now, but oh, actually it looks like he's turning. Anyways, from Bella. Hello, Bob. I have always wondered why the trucks are different in Europe and in North America. Do you know anything about it? And my response, I think it has to do with length. Here there is less of a limit on length, so the cab can be longer. So yeah, we still don't have any trucks going by. But uh, Bella, uh, my understanding is this. In Europe, many of the trucks have a flat front. Maybe I should put a picture up here. Uh, whereas in North America, uh, many trucks have a long snout or nose on the front. And my understanding is that the basic reason is the laws are different. Here in North America, you can have really long trucks. I think the trailer can be 54 feet long, and I don't know if there's a limit on the tractor. That's the front part of the truck. But I think in Europe, they have laws governing the total length of the truck. By the way, I'm still laughing that uh, no trucks have gone by because uh, honestly, I've been making videos in town for the last couple of weeks, and I usually find it a little disturbing because there are so many trucks. But that's my, uh, that's my understanding that uh, I guess in North America, we just have laws that are a little more uh, forgiving in terms of length of truck. Now, there's a truck coming here. It's not the type of truck I normally talk about, and I think he's turning as well. Way in the distance there, you can see that truck. It's a garbage truck. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's too far in the distance for you to see. Uh, when I'm done with this English lesson, I might have to wait for a bit and try to get some footage of the different kinds of trucks uh, that we have here in North America. Um, again, it's kind of how things work, right? When you want something to happen, it doesn't. And then when something is kind of annoying and you don't want it to happen, it usually happens. So uh, no trucks today. I will stay for a few minutes though and get some footage for you. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a few days with another short English lesson. Bye. Okay, I just spotted a truck. I'm running, not quite running, but I'm walking as fast as I can to get over here. Yes, it's turning. Here, I'll give you a good view. So you can see that our trucks in Canada and in the United States, at the front, they have kind of a long nose, a little bit different than what you would see in Europe. Hopefully I got close enough for you to see that. I, I literally waited 10 minutes for a truck to come uh, and then I almost missed it because I almost went into a store to uh, buy a few groceries. But anyways, that's what uh, North American trucks look like. Oh, and there's another one. Yep, that's how things work, right? The, the minute you stop looking for something, you suddenly see all kinds of them. So, okay, anyways, have a good day. See you next week with another 
short english lesson. bye.